Now that we understand what the students will see, let's take a look at the teacher dashboard and explore all of the actions that you can take, as well as all of the information that you can see regarding your students and how they're interacting with their Magic School student tools. Once you give the students the Join Info code and they've joined your class, you can close the Join Info card from your screen. Don't worry, if you need to pull it back up for a student who isn't quite in the room yet, all you need to do is click on Show Join Info and it will appear again for you. If you look at your student dashboard, you'll notice there are lots of things that you can do from this one screen. First, you can see the list of students who have joined your room. The screen will display the name that they have entered when they joined the room. For each student listed, you'll see the last message that they generated, as well as the last tool that they used, and their status. You can also see if any of their interactions for a particular student have been flagged for inappropriate content. In the next section of this course, we'll focus on the content moderation aspect of the teacher dashboard. For now, let's move on to the actions that you can take within your teacher dashboard. If you click on the Actions button for a particular student at the far right hand side of your screen, you can choose from several different actions that I'm going to demonstrate for you one by one. If you click on this View Student Output, you'll see a list of all the generations that a student has created during that session. And if you want to see a detailed list of inputs and outputs for any generation, all you need to do is click on that specific interaction. And you'll see the entire history displayed in your window. You also have the option to delete any piece of that thread if you choose. If you come back to Actions and click Show Student Join Info, this will give you a specific join link that for the student to use so that they can rejoin the session that, and have access to all of their previous work. This code is different from the general join code and is the only way that a student can get back to their original session where they can see their previous generations. If you click pause for a specific student, you've paused that student. Only the student that you've paused will see the banner at the top of their screen letting them know that they've been paused by their teacher. The rest of the class can continue as normal and you'll also notice that the student's status has changed to paused. You can also click lock for that specific student which means that they will see the following screen, letting them know that they've been locked by their teacher. When you lock a student, they can no longer see the tools page or interact in any way whatsoever. You'll also see their status change to locked. If you would like to resume that session, you can click resume. And the student who has been locked or paused will see their screen return to normal and will have full access to their tools. You can also see the status button at the top of your screen, and you can pause or lock an entire room if you choose. If you navigate out of a specific room, you can see a list of all the rooms that you've created, as well as their status, the date you launched them, and when it was last changed. In the next section of this course, we're going to review the newly added content moderation features within the teacher dashboard. These features are meant to help you make sure that your students are interacting with the tools in an appropriate way. See you there.